towards me. Okay, you guys, I uh, messed up a little bit ago and and let go a four pounder. I was basically I, I catched him on a little bitty three three inch purple and red worm on a little bitty tiny jig head. I caught a, about a four pounder. It was a nice fish. And now I'm uh, going to try to do this little video. I got this little bitty grub, and I noticed there's a bluegill over here. I think it's a bluegill or a small bass. I'm going to try to catch him. Point over there. I keep getting bites on it by, the, uh, by this little fish. And if I keep getting grass on the lure, then it ain't going to work. I made a short video earlier, and I'm gonna. Ha I had to delete it because it wasn't a uh, good video. I uh, had that lure stuck in a tree. Sorry, to be quiet for so long there. But I uh, had to shorten this little. Oh, I got him! I got him! I got him! Look at that little bitty bluegill, man. Point over here, bud. Oh, it's a red ear. Wow, look at that. A red ear? Hang on a minute now. We got them spikes up. Oh, it's a feisty little one, ain't it? Mm-hmm. These red and these red and these red ear um, fish are very tough, and they do not want to be messed with anybody. They hate people. Well, that little bitty red ear I caught. I didn't even know there was red ear in this pond. Me, over here, bub. Me too. Point it down here so you can get a good release on this big old blue red ear. Oh, oh, is he gonna make it? Oh, he's just sitting there. There he goes. He's real slow. He's, he's sitting there real slowly going. But I'll show you guys what I caught that little fish on. I had a whole three inch purple and red worm, but that's all that's left since that bluegill was sitting there biting on it so long. But I was finally able to catch him. Are we See done for the day? Gonna, huh? Tell me when to cut. No, not right now. We're going to go ahead and try to do a little bit more. See if there's another bluegill over here. Okay, just tell I me. I couldn't tell if it was a bluegill or if it was a little bass when he was biting over here. But. Just tell me when to cut. Point over here. I'm not going to cut it right now, Max. Okay? Okay, just tell me when. I'm going to take this little jiggy off. And try another little shaky head that I caught that I like. It's like the one that I caught that four pounder on. But I had that four pounder in my hand and I held him up and everything. And when he, uh, I put him in the water to make sure he stayed alive, I uh, had him down there in the water. And when I hollered at my little brother, which he's holding the camera now, say hi, bud. Hi. He, uh, that fish decided he wanted to wiggle a little bit. Well, I wasn't ready for him to start shaking. And he shook, and he shook right out of my hand, and off he swam. And I, I was just heartbroken. I, I thought I was going, I thought I lost the, I uh, thought I just messed up, but I caught a little bluegill. Point over here, bub. I'm gonna try to catch another bass. This, I got on here now, it's a little red shaky head, a little tiny red one. You guys what it looks like real quick but that's the basic thing i'm going for can you see it all right bub a little red worm with a green shape and green head head. see if i can't catch another big old bass on it i honestly just wanted to go a little bit more finesse because these bass they were they weren't really biting very well Grass is not exactly the best thing for a shaky head. Come around here, bub. Stand right over there. That way, when I set the hook, I don't hit you. And you see, try to catch a nice fish. Hopefully, I will. And a little bluegill chased it up right there, but I ain't gonna worry about them bluegill. I'm a bass fisherman. I'm going to try to catch a bass for you guys on this video. Make sure you're looking through the camera and make sure to 
You're pointing it the right way, bub. I am. It's almost sunset. This. Yeah, you know, sun's starting to set here. Yeah, and that should be hauling us. I'm ready to go home. Oh, I missed it. That was a bass too. Darn it. Flip no. back in there. Now we know where he is. Let's catch him. He let go of it there. That's a bass. I felt him. on it. better flip see if I can catch a bass here Okay, let's try the frog. Yeah, strike king frog. See all right, bub? Fix the uh, legs real quick. See if I can't get a fish on top water real quick. Test it way over there on the other side. I've caught some fish over here on the frog before on this pond. Should be able to on this this time. Can you see the frog out there in the water, bud? Through mm -hmm. the camera? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. No, no bass on that. All right, on that cast. See if there's one over there by that end of that tree. Oh, there's a fish chasing it. I seen him come away from the bank. I seen him go off the bank. Or I figured they'd be biting top water. You can hear the frogs chirping. Let's try the other side real quick here. Point the camera over here, bud. The cast there almost went through the bank. <laughs>
figured maybe these bass are seeing them bluegill spawning because I'm believing that's what they're doing because them bluegill are on bed. I just ain't had no hits from a bass yet on this frog. This frog, it does kind of mimic a bluegill a little bit. Let me see the camera a Oh, oh, oh. He just about had that frogging up in that tree. Let's cast over there towards that other tree and see if I can't get a bite over there. Max, hold it right. Get that frog up underneath that tree. See if I can't get a bite there. Man, I cannot believe that them bass ain't hit this frog yet. Man, I ain't even had a hit yet. I'm gonna make one more cast. I think I'm gonna make it straight over that other bank. Right there. If I don't catch one here, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Man, that, that sucks that I didn't catch anything. Okay, point it towards me, bub. Well, at least I was able to catch a little red ear for you guys in this video. I'm sorry that I didn't catch any bass. I don't know why they ain't hitting this frog. They usually do hit a frog. I've caught quite a few out of this pond with a frog. So thanks for watching, and come make sure you like the video. Go ahead and turn it off.